Get Biblical Understanding, along with T.A. McMahon. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all I getting, get understanding. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. This is number 61 in our series of Get Biblical Understanding. In this session, we're reading many, but certainly not all, of the biblical verses that have to do with being other-directed, meaning selfless. Jesus gave us the example that we are to follow. He came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life to save us from our sins. Again, the theme of this series is selflessness. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 13. Wherefore, I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 to 2. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 28. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 to 2. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, And walk in love, as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Philippians chapter 1, verses 20 to 24. According to my earnest expectation and my hope, that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness, as always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. But if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Yet what I shall choose, I wot not. For I am in a strait betwixt two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. Philippians chapter 1, verses 25 to 26. And having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance and joy of faith, that your rejoicing may be more abundant in Jesus Christ for me by my coming to you again. Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 to 4. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory that is selfish ambition, conceit. But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to 9. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name. Philippians chapter 2, verses 17 to 18. Yea, And if I be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. For the same cause also do ye joy and rejoice with me. Philippians chapter 2, verses 19 to 23. But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timotheus shortly unto you, that I also may be of good comfort when I know your state. For I have no man like-minded who will naturally care for your state, For all seek their own, not the things which are of Jesus Christ. But ye know the proof of him, that as a son with the Father, he hath served with me in the gospel. Him therefore I hope to send presently, so soon as I shall see how it will go with me. Philippians chapter 2, verse 21. For all seek their own, not the things which are Jesus Christ. Thanks for listening, and we hope you'll join us again as we search the scriptures in order to get biblical understanding.